I'm sorry I had to tell a lie because when we got in, I didn't want some sort of isolation from you guys, and I didn't want some sort of plotting against us. I didn't want people to give us space. But on Tuesday, Kasha and I will be eight months married. Kasha is my wife. The next housemate to be evicted from the big brother Niger no lose guard house is Kasia Tofa. Everybody. Everybody. A Guys, for this season, this Big Brother Ninja season, nine non-lose guard season, we have eight finalists. For the first time in the history of Big Brother Ninja show, we have eight finalists. So three housemates were evicted today during the live edition show, which are Cassia, OC, and Tofa. Then we have eight finalists, which are Kelly Ray, Ozi, Oyenka, Wani, Nelly, Anita, Suj, and Victoria. Big congratulations to them. Though I don't know why Big Brother choose to do top eight this season. Though. We all know if they, it's been a top five, then he later moved to top six. This time he decided to do top eight. I said, I don't understand Big Brother. But not be the one on Sunday reach now. You could call the Orioles. So I like to evict seven persons before calling the winner, six persons before calling the winner. Hope Ebuka will not be in a hurry because they rush things. We're not going to enjoy the light edition show, the final. I said, well, now Big Brother, Naim no Naim, and his management, no, yeah. So, um, after the eviction, before the eviction, should I say during the eviction, Ebuka asked some questions. Um, first, he made Kelly Ray revealed that he is married to Cassia. Earlier than Kelly Ray planned, it was like Kelly Ray, um, you and Cassia were like planning to reveal a secret to the housemates after the live edition show. But now Cassia has left. Are you still going to reveal the secret to the housemates? Kelly Ray said yes, he will do it. He will do it himself. And Ebuka was like, oh, um, let it, let me make it easy for you. You can just tell them now. Are you okay with it? Kelly Ray said yes, he's okay with it. He asked how much time does he have? Ebuka gave him one minute to reveal the secrets to the housemates, and his housemates were genuinely happy for Kelly Ray and Cassia, even Oyeka. Osi and Ozi, obviously, they were like, I said it, I said it, I knew it, I knew it, even Oyeka. The housemates were really happy for Kelly Ray and um, Cassia, knowing that, oh, these people, they are married for eight months, yeah? Then Ebuka went on to ask questions. He asked, um, I think he asked Tofa about his relationship with Anita. Like, tell us, what is it? Like, give us a title. They were beating around the bush. You know, go straight to the point. Uh, yeah. so Anita said, Tofa is my Ashwa person. Tofa was like, hey, apart from the real air we breathe in, this and that. They were just beating around the bush. Ebuka said, will not, will not be boyfriend girlfriend yes or no which one is like beating around the bush they said when they get out they will define it and all i said okay no 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 so when tofa was evicted here yeah, ebuka asked him on stage tofa like you are out of the ass now tell us your real age he was like do you guys really want to know the audience we are shouting yes like ebuka said just tell us your real age tofa said he is 24 he is 24 years old. When I heard that, I was like, aha, this relationship with between him and Anita, is it still going to continue outside the house? Because we all know at first he told Anita that he is the same age with Anita. We all know Anita is like 29 years. So after Ibuka exposed him and urged him to reveal his real age, he later said, after everything, he later told Anita that he is 26 years old, meaning he lied again. Now he has revealed on stage that he's actually 24. So to me, that relationship is, <laughs> is gone. It is gone. Anita, when they take nonsense, that is always street. Nothing, nothing, nothing like relationship between Anita and Tofa outside the house. Even friendship, I doubt. She will be so angry like you fool me on national tv you were even given a second chance and you still lied like you took me for a fool that no see even friendship eh, i know what expect between those two persons we're going for media around here yeah? so um uh, also questioned uh, suj and 
nearly about their relationship obviously they could not define it they were saying if we go outside the house we will see how things goes and all yeah so now so them still talk uh, am i forgetting anything oh 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 yeah 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 ebuka also questioned um cassia on stage again concerning this whole onyeka strategy thing he was like do you have any problem with onyeka cassia said no Ebuka asked if Cassia has like issue with Oyeka. Cassia said no, like she doesn't have any issue with Oyeka. She feels Oyeka is not true. Ebuka said, why? Cassia said her instinct. Her instinct told her that Oyeka is not real. I think Ebuka asked her again that how do you know that she is not real? Um Cassia said because she said because uh, Oyeka told her that she's a strategy is to be in everybody's business like to put mat for everybody business for the uh, so with that she felt like Oyeka is not real yeah and then she said that um not be her fault say Oyeka lose guarded like Oyeka told her a strategy and Ebuka was like um coming for someone like you that have your own strategy Another person's strategy should not be a problem to you. Yeah, and I saw them talk. Um, <laughs> that's how they ended the conversation, and that was it. Please do not forget to click on the subscribe button. Also, please like this video, click on the like button, share, and comment.